Hello, I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Saturday, August 23rd, 2025. Years ago, a retired physician colleague of mine died just one day after his beloved wife of many years passed away. People said he died of a broken heart. Believe it or not, that's more than a saying. See, when someone loses a loved one, the body can be flooded with stress hormones like adrenaline, and this can make the heart's artery spasm, just like a heart attack. It can also trigger dangerous rhythms that can cause sudden cardiac arrest, or it can spike blood pressure so high that it causes a stroke. Doctors even have a name for it, Takasubu cardiomyopathy, or plainly, broken heart syndrome. Now, most people recover, but sometimes it's deadly, and research proves that this is not rare. A 2014 study of nearly 400,000 elderly couples found that when one spouse died, the other's risk of death jumped 66% in the first 90 days, with the greatest risk in the first 24 to 48 hours. This is called the widowhood effect. The key takeaway here is that grief doesn't just affect the mind. It can threaten the body. So when we say someone died of a broken heart, it isn't just a figure of speech. The heart, the brain, and our closest relationships are deeply connected. So grief deserves care. Grief deserves compassion and grief deserves support because it can affect not just emotional health, but physical survival. Now, the good thing is many cultures surround grieving people with constant love and support in those first uh, days. And that wisdom is worth carrying on because it may truly save lives. That's my message today. Please feel free to share this message. And as always, take care and be well.